was most likely taken from his mother as a baby elephant and has endured abuse and captivity for 50 years from at least 27 different handlers. When the North London charity Wildlife SOS finally tracked him down, Roger was being held by a handler who kept him in chains and spikes, forcing him to beg for coins for the amusement of tourists. The charity also said the handler pulled hairs from Roger's tail to sell his charms. Roger was in such bad shape and so underfed that he would resort to eating paper and plastic to fill his stomach. When the wildlife charity finally gained court approval to rescue Raju, they went at night to avoid too many people and to protect the bull elephant from the hot sun. Raju's handler tried to stop the rescue by provoking him into becoming violent enough to scare his rescuers away, but they stood their ground, and this was when they said the elephant seemed to sense change was coming, and Raju began to cry. As painful as his shackles must have been, Raju managed to make his way to a truck where he was transported to an elephant protection sanctuary. At one minute past midnight on July 4th, Raju took his first step as a free elephant. Raju was fed bananas, mangoes, bread, and water when he arrived, the first decent meal he probably had in years. His doctor said it took him 45 minutes to remove the chains from Raju's feet, but when the last rope was cut and Raju was finally free, there were tears in everyone's eyes. Roger's wounds have been treated and he will undergo lengthy rehabilitation, but when he's ready, he will first join two companion elephants called Rajesh and Bola, both also elephants who have endured abuse. Then Roger will be in